Many people in the public are highly cynical about government today. And that might not be a unique feature of Illinoisans, but it's definitely true of Illinoisans. I, we all, we're, as, if, as members of this body, we all, we all know lots of people who live in all pockets of this state. We all travel this state. And I think if there's one thing that unites Illinoisans, it's that they are highly cynical of the governance and the government that is supposed to serve them and for which they feel does a horrible job of doing so. Now, it's when people like governors say one thing and do another that fuels the cynicism that exists in the public. And I think, unfortunately, this process does throws gasoline on that already lit fire of cynicism. These maps, just like the state legislative maps, these maps represent a missed opportunity for Illinoisans. You know, if you ask your constituents, what do you want out of the redistricting process? Again, what's the thing that unites voters? Voters want choices at the ballot box. And the many of you on that side of the aisle, we've been through this before, but you've all told your constituents that you value an independent process and that you want to give them a choice at the ballot box. But with your vote on this bill, you will assure yet again that voters aren't going to have choices in the elections because you will have gerrymandered these maps in a manner that takes away the choice of your constituents at the ballot box. That's shameful. Our constituents want a government, they want to be represented by elected officials, representatives who are accountable to the people for whom they're elected to serve. But when the maps produce elections without choices, there's no accountability. And the result of that is a public who will continue to be cynical and feel that their government is not responsive to them and feel that their representatives are not accountable to them. Why you don't want this? There appears only one logical reason, that is it gives you partisan gain to take those choices away from the voters. And while that might be good for the majority party, it's bad for the state, and on these, it's bad for the country. There's no excuse for taking away the choices that voters should have in the election process. It's the foundation of our democracy. We should be able to debate bills. You have your side, we have our side. Hopefully we come together on agreements. But ultimately, we're responsible to our constituents back home. But if your vote takes away their choice, what good are we doing for them? I think we live today in a highly divisive time in this country. The country is divided, our state is divided, and you all have an opportunity to do something about this. In the fact that you won't, not one of you, through this redistricting process, has been willing to break from the partisanship that exists to do what is good for Illinois, and on this, do what is good for America. And while it might feel good to go back home to your political party rallies and say, look what we did to ensure a little more partisan gain here and a little more partisan gain in Washington, D.C., by doing so, you're complicit in the mood of the country that says, stop being so divisive. Stop creating battle lines between the two sides and the two parties. Quit making everything about politics. You've got an opportunity to do something about this. Why don't you stand up and do the right thing? Because your political leaders tell you, this is the way we need you to vote on this? Where's some independence? Where's some bipartisanship? Where is doing the right thing in this chamber?
These maps represent the failure of which Illinois represents. On the opportunity we all have to show our fellow Illinoisans that we can get something right, this body fails. And it's really unfortunate because it's just another lost opportunity for 13 million people who call themselves Illinoisans, and they live here and they want to believe that our state can be better and that it can be different and that the people that represent them are willing to do the right thing. And so I ask of you, I know the fate of this bill, but I implore of each and every one of you on the other side of the aisle who privately tells me, Jason, we need more bipartisanship. Let's find ways to work together. Some of you sitting over there say, I'm more moderate than my party has become. My party's become much more extreme. You have an opportunity to distinguish yourself on this vote. You have an opportunity to stand up and say, you know what? I want something better for my state and for my country. And I ask that you join us in standing up for the people of this state in voting against these highly gerrymandered and political maps. Thank you, Mr. President.